In this animation, we'll be talking about the non-homologous enjoining, which is a little bit difficult than the homologous type of enjoining. Now, let's say this is the DNA strand break that occurs, and that is the double-stranded break that we are seeing right now. It will include many different varieties of proteins, ligases, and also other enzymes like polymerase, right? So, let's see the whole process in little bit more detail. Now, once we have the double-stranded break, it will bring first type of enzymes which are called as Q70 and Q80. So, these are the Q70, 80, either Q70 or Q80. They will bind to this place and what they will do, they will cleave them to process what is called the blunt end of the double-stranded break. So, they will process the break to produce the blunt end. When the blunt end is produced, they will bring upon enzymes called as DNA PKCs. As you can see here, these are the DNA PKCs in purple color. So, DNA PKC is now at the position and then this DNA PKCs along with Q70-80 will move to the opposite directions for the end processing. For this process, they might require some other enzymes like Artemis, WRN or MRN. Once they start processing the terminals, what they will produce? They will produce one strand in each direction slightly overhanged than other. After certain cut, as you can see, they produces the overhang strand. In this left hand part, they produce this blue colored overhang. In the right hand, they produce this pink color overhang strand. When these overhang strands are produced, then they will bring upon enzymes called DNA polymerase. These red colored enzymes are DNA polymerase. Now, this DNA polymerase lambda or mu, they will brought together and they will start producing new DNA strand. They will start adding nucleotide sequences one after another and they will produce long chains. Once they complete the DNA polymerization process there, then they will bring upon DNA ligase or XRCC4. So, they will bring those DNA ligase enzymes and those DNA ligase enzyme will now seal the nick and that completes the whole process and we get a complete set of DNA completely okay.